Hello and welcome to Surf Smugglers Let's Play episode 51 today. And to start off I want to show you what I did here with these bars. I got a tip from uh, Captain Hollywood, thank you very much, to put up uh, pistons on the opposite side here to make the bars uh, connect properly. So they don't actually connect, instead they revert to the uh, cross shape, but uh, since, uh, since you only see them from this direction, this angle here, you can hardly make out this little piece sticking out in this direction. So it looks awesome. So thanks again Captain Hollywood. Great. So I'm going to continue with uh, some interesting stuff here today. I want to set up uh, something with this new little crypt I built here. Uh, some kind of little trap I think. It uh, doesn't make much sense to have traps in a single player world like this, but it's uh, mainly about the concept. So let me get some stuff and I'll be right back. And I'm back and uh, I want to do something with the Buildcraft gates because they can be useful in uh, ways that you might not expect. So I'm gonna put a gate here and some wire. Now I was thinking uh, this chest here is gonna contain uh, of course, uh, the remains of some famous person, like this one here. And I want to set it up so he's going to have like um, a bow and maybe a diamond. And if you remove that diamond from his tomb here, uh, bad things are going to happen. So. I can set up this gate to trigger, let's see, if there is items in inventory or in fact if there's a diamond in the inventory you can go ahead and send a red pipe signal, why not? So that way I can uh, detect somewhere removes. See, now it's on and now it's off. So that's the first step. Now next I want to make sure that if you take that diamond you are not allowed to leave again. So we're gonna have pistons that will close up the doorway if you remove the treasures. And uh, also I want to use these uh, redstone lamps in the ceiling here and remove the torches. So if you take something the door is gonna close and the light is gonna go out so you will be stuck in the dark. That sounds like a neat little trap. So now all I have to do is uh, route this pipe and wire to the pistons. So I'm gonna do some uh, digging and I'll be back. So let's see here if I just hook up this uh, structure pipe here. Obviously you can use any type of pipe but it feels like this would be appropriate. And some wire on it. And the last part like so. And our gate. Now let's see. Put it in back there. So when you have a pipe signal, you don't send a 
okay, so I need to do it the opposite. The other way around, let's see here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Well, obviously I only need to change this one to send a redstone signal when you don't have the pipe signal. So, remove the diamond and the door closes. Yeah. Put it back and you're released. And now just to make it real pretty, we do the upper part as well. And then we're gonna do the lights, but one thing at a time. When you don't have that, you send the redstone signal. Excellent. So let's see. We just fill in this and floor. Obviously, I'm going to replace this dirt here. Something like that, and you won't see anything until, of course, you actually trigger it. Now you are gonna see here, have a little hole there, but that's that's fine. That's gonna work. You can't get out though, that's the main idea, of course. So, let me just figure out how I want to do the lights and yeah, and I'll be back. And I got my redstone lamps in the ceiling here and the pipe here is going to come up and uh, it's dark up here. I don't like that. Anyway, here comes the wire all the way up. Yes. I'm just gonna put up all this so I can get up. Uh, I think I'm gonna put up a torch here just while I'm working because I don't like it dark. So let's put our gate in and let's see if you have that pipe signal you send the redstone signal. And of course I could have a gate over each lamp but why waste gates when I can work with just regular redstone. I can sprinkle on a little extra just for fun. So yeah, that's it. So let's see, yeah, I'll leave it like that. So if I now just Tidy up this wall. Everything should be ready. And we can then remove these torches. Nice. And I'm gonna put up a little sign in here and uh, some paintings perhaps on the walls and do something a little more fun in this chest, but uh, just to try it out, let's remove this thing here. Uh oh, dark. Mm, not too fond of this. So let's 
Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, yeah, if I just put a block on top of that slab there, we should be fine. We do get some light in from here, of course, but still, it's it's mostly a proof of concept, really. So how you can build some interesting traps using buildcraft gates. I like it. Let's put that back to avoid the wrath of the. Now what? tried this before. Hmm. Oh yeah. So I suppose I sprinkled a little too much redstone up there. Because this will now power that pistol. Hmm, let's see. Is that enough to make it work properly? Maybe. Much better. a couple of slabs there but that's fine I'll fix that, fix that off camera so yeah nice little trap for greedy fingers nice so I'm gonna fix up uh, the cosmetics here and uh, I'll be back to show you and uh, we'll see what else I'm gonna poke around with in this episode. So here we have the tomb of Shuri the Huntress. She was a skilled uh, archer and uh, that earned her a nice uh, diamond trophy in some contest. So uh, that trophy and her Trusted bow is, was her most beloved uh, things, so uh, her spirit will be most displeased if you remove any one of those. Then you will be trapped in her tomb here, in the darkness. So better leave those. Yeah. So rest in peace, Shuri. And uh, with that little demonstration, I think I'll wrap up this episode. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, and I hope I see you again. So until next time, bye bye!